Gel Medium is one of the most helpful mixed media products alongside Gesso, on which I focused on a previous video, and I'm going to show you five amazing ways to use it. The most useful application for me has a dual purpose. First, it acts like a glue, and second, it acts like a seal to protect a surface. I use it most often to collage on my backgrounds. The thinner gel medium, which is sometimes called fluid medium, is usually used for lighter products such as paper or tissue. You can use matte or glossy medium depending on the look you want. The most important thing with gel medium though is drying the surface really well. Before I get to the second use of gel medium, I'm just adding a little white gesso to prep the surface for the other layers. This is a really important step which I cover in the video I'm linking at the end. You can also use the thicker gels as a paste through a stencil like I'm doing here with my triangle grid stencil. This creates an amazing texture design. And since the gel dries clear, the texture has a different feel than when you use modeling paste. You will soon see the pattern once I add color, as the gel dries clear. I love experimenting and applying different products through a stencil as you always get different results. One of my favorite ways to use gel medium is to make my own paints by mixing it with powdered colors. You can mix gel with colorful mica powders or with powdered dye such as Lindy's Magicals or Brusho Crystals. Then you get this amazing permanent color that can be applied as paint with a brush if you mix it with the fluid medium. I mixed a dark blue color with the fluid matte medium and you'll soon see how I apply it to my art journal. I also mix a teal color with the thicker gel medium and apply it through my uneven geometry stencil at the edges of my page. Just this technique alone can be a gateway to so many creative possibilities, as you can do this with any color. Before I show you the best technique with gel medium, I draw my stencil pattern really well. And then I start adding bright blue magical powders at the edges of the page so it will run through all the stencil patterns, both the transparent ones and the teal ones. I also add some green and just spray the Lindy's Magical Powders with water to let them round down the page as if they were watercolors. Then I use a paintbrush and apply the dark blue paint I created at the edges of the page as well to create a nice deep colored border. This helps to frame my composition and I even use the same blue paint to add some splatters in the background. These mediums were originally created for fine artists to change the behavior of acrylic paints. If mixed with paints, they can become more transparent or fluid and it extends their drying time as well. And if you think mixing it with color is cool, Imagine mixing it with textures such as sand, beads, or even glitter. You can create your own original texture paste from scratch, like I'm doing right here by mixing gel with glitter on one side and microbeads on the other. It creates the most gorgeous texture that you can leave as is or paint over with acrylic paint. There's no room in my art journal right now to add this texture, but trust me when I say it looks gorgeous if you do it on a background. However, I will show you another cool trick on how I use gel medium with glitter, but in a whole different way. I've always said that one of my favorite techniques in mixed media is splattering. I especially love glittery splatters, but I hate using glitter as it goes everywhere. However, gel medium does the trick. I simply take gel medium and dilute it with a little bit of water. Then I splatter it across my background with a paintbrush like I would normally do with paint. While the splatters are still wet, I sprinkle fine glitter across my page. Then I get rid of the excess glitter while the remaining glitter sticks to the splattered medium. It's a great way to add shimmer without having to do it one dot at a time. And you can mix the leftover glitter with the liquid gel and create glittery paint, which I use to add some shimmer to the edges of my journal, as well as the focal point, which of course is a butterfly, as they're my favorite. The best thing about gel medium is that you can use it just as regular glue, and that's exactly what I do to glue my focal point to my page. Gel medium is essential for my mixed media projects, along with the product I use in this video right here.